Hey guys, so it's been a couple of weeks since I've last filmed and last time I told you guys that I stretched my Dupic scent doses to three weeks instead of two and I was really happy with that but today's actually been three weeks and three days since I took Dupic scent last so I'm successfully stretching it out even more than before so that's great news and I probably should have filmed before I put my makeup on but the thing is my makeup goes on really nicely because my skin is nice underneath it because um, you know when you have patches of dryness or like you know texture um, or like eczema on your skin foundation doesn't go on nicely and it ends up looking cakey or um, it just doesn't go on nicely but as you can see it's pretty pretty good so I'm really really happy with that um, I actually put I actually couldn't find a good foundation that worked so like perfectly on my face and I was using Mugu makeup found mineral foundation which wasn't bad like it was the best that I could find but I used to wear Estee Lauder's double wear foundation before TSW and that was like my perfect foundation for my skin like it was so it as soon as I put it on it looked flawless and I wanted to find one like that and I just I tried so many but it's just it, I couldn't find the one and so on my vision board I made a vision I make vision boards every year and at the end of last year I made a vision board for 2024 and I wrote down um, like an affirmation saying I have found the perfect foundation for my skin and I put a picture of myself from pre TSW where I had really nice skin with the foundation on and a few days into 2024 like three days into 2024 i found the perfect foundation and it's the nars sheer glow and light reflecting foundation and today i have the light reflecting foundation on and i haven't bought the product yet because uh, i wanted to test it out with the samples so i got the samples for both well I actually got samples for like four different ones and i tried them all and these two that I just mentioned worked out so nicely. I'm still deciding which one to get. So I'm like using the um, the two alternatively and seeing which one I like the best, but they both are so good. And I just can't believe that like one of the things I put on my vision board are already ticked off. Like it's so, vision boards are so powerful. Like I could manifest manifested it already so back to Dupixent I took out my Dupixent dose from the fridge this morning so that I can take it tomorrow um, the reason why I decided to take one tomorrow is because I noticed that this morning the skin underneath my nose was a little bit patchy um, with dryness and that usually happens when I'm due for a Dupixent shot but yeah I'm so happy that I can go without Dupixent for nearly a month now, which is crazy. Like, yeah, I'm so happy. Oh yeah, things I've been doing for my skin haven't changed much, but I've been mindful of drinking a litre of water every day. I bought a litre water bottle because I noticed that I haven't, if I'm not mindful of it, I don't drink as much as I need to so I bought the one litre water bottle I fill it up every morning and try and finish it all by the, um, by the end of the day that's been working well and I'm kind of back to eating more veggies because I've been slacking and I haven't been eating the best especially during the holidays and my skin was breaking out and one thing I noticed about my skin is that my skin seemed a lot more tanned 
then it was pre-TSW, like during TSW, obviously my skin was covered in TSW symptoms that I couldn't really focus on my skin tone and like, you know, all that kind of stuff. So now that I'm healed from TSW, I noticed that my skin tone is a lot darker than it was pre-TSW and I was thinking about what that reason could be and I figured it out. I think I figured it out. So pre-TSW, I used to use this moisturizer called Hydroderm which is a water-based moisturizer and after being hospitalized for TSW in the beginning of last year, I started using Epiderm ointment which the doctor um, recommended for me and because I was doing no moisture treatment until then I was scared to use any kind of moisturizers but because the doctor um, recommended it to me and I was and I was in hospital being monitored so I felt comfortable using it and um, because if anything happens then I'm in hospital already and you know so I started using Epiderm ointment which worked really nicely for my skin and hydrated my skin and since then, so since February 2023, I've been using Epiderm ointment all over my skin and that's an oil based moisturiser. So what that means is that it's like putting sun oil on my skin and being in the sun. Even if I'm at home, there's windows all over and the sunlight comes in. So having that oil based moisturizer on makes your skin so much more tanned with the sunlight so that's what i noticed and i switched and since i realized that i switched to the lotion the epiderm lotion instead of the ointment which is a water-based moisturizer during the day and I also use Muyu's hydrating lotion which is also a water-based moisturizer they sent me like a couple of free products and it was in that package and I just had it sitting there but since I need since I realized I needed a more water-based moisturizer I started using that for my body and I was using it for my face at first but it it started tingling and it was like irritating my face a little bit so but it was it was really like moisturizing for my body so I wanted to keep using that for my body and I use the epiderm lotion for my face in the morning so when I wake up I do that and then at night when the sun's down I use my epiderm ointment so that's what I've been doing I think it's been working well and yeah my neck is a little bit red it's probably because I am due for to big something yeah that's my update I'm taking driving lessons while I'm in Sydney I'm going back to Melbourne next month and I'm a lot more familiar with the Sydney road so I want to get my peas here and then go back to Melbourne so yeah I've had my L's uh, which is a learner license for those of you who aren't in Australia you need to get a learner's license before you get your red peas and then after your red peas you get your green peas and then after your green peas you get your full license so I've been on my L's for like five years now nearly or maybe like four um, but the first couple of years I didn't drive at all um, and then in the last couple of years I started driving and I feel a lot more comfortable now and I've been taking driving lessons with um, like the driving instructor before I take the test I will see you guys probably tomorrow when I take the dip accent shot if I don't decide if I don't end up taking it tomorrow maybe the following day who knows Bye guys. Hi again, it's me. I am back. It's still the same day, um, but I decided to take to Pixent tonight because um, my skin's starting to get dry, pat 
stretchy bits and it's always it's always underneath my nose here and below my chin neck area and also the corner of my eyes so i know that i'm due for a dupixin soon and like i said this morning it's been three weeks and three days so it's the longest i've been without dupixin let's do the shot today i've been warming it up under my arm for the past like 10 minutes it literally helps so much with the pain so if you're struggling with the pain or like your kids struggling with the pain i know i've been in um the dupixent um support group on facebook and i know that there are a lot of like parents who give the shot to their kid and their kid is terrified of the shot because it stings which is fair like it so like i get scared too also like being the parent who gives the shot to the kid like they don't know um how how like they don't know the type of pain or like what the pain is you know so my tip is my number one tip is to warm it up under your arm and you can take the syringe out of the fridge like the night before that's what i do um i had it out for a couple of hours like half a day today because i was gonna take it tomorrow but um i just decided to take one today i've also got my sharp spin hopefully it stays there got my numbing cream as usual It's been over three weeks, so I am a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's just get this over and done with. Like, the pinching hurts. <laughs> Wait, why does it hurt? Why does it hurt? I don't like this. Maybe I did it in the wrong spot. Wait, I'm scared. Wait. It's here, right? Maybe I did it like here. <laughs> Guys. Okay, it's here. I think. Okay, I'm scared, guys. What should I do? Maybe I did it in the wrong bit here. I can feel it here. I can feel it here too. Okay, T. Okay, T. Oof. I'm scared, guys. What do I, what do, I do? Did I not put it on? Did I not put the numbing cream on for long enough? I did it for like an hour, which I usually do. Okay. Oh, I feel like I can feel it. Like it's not numb enough. Because when I stroke my finger like that, like I can kind of feel it. Why? Why? I'm gonna put the numbing cream a bit more. Thank you. I am back with numbing cream and some cling wrap. 
I have to take it tonight because I took the cap off the syringe. Why can I feel it? I'm gonna try do it on the other side. Got this much? Or oh, maybe that's too low. Okay, let me just do it here. Oh no. I have to wait another hour. Oh. Why didn't it work? I usually have it on for an hour. Maybe, maybe my body's gone to meet my. Maybe my body's gone immune to the numbing cream. <laughs> I don't like this. Now I can't warm it up under my arm because it's too dangerous with the needle open and um. I have to wait an hour. Oh, no. mm. Maybe I should have just done it. Now I can't, like... <laughs> this has never happened to me. Wait an hour. <laughs> Don't like this. Oh no. Oops. Wait an hour. Okay, see you guys in an hour. I am back. It's gonna be an hour since the I put the numbing cream on in 10 minutes. Sorry, the ankle's a bit weird. Because I took the cap, the lid off the syringe. I can't warm it up under my arm. So I'm using my hand to warm it up, but it's hard to grip and also like the needle is out so I'm being, really, I'm being really careful but I've got like 10 more minutes to go until I give myself the shot and hopefully this time the numbing cream works. This is like my new anxiety now because I've been using the numbing cream to give myself the shot and I was able to do it because I knew that it wasn't going to hurt but if my body is getting immune to it, then that means it's gonna like stop working eventually. So I'll have to get used to doing it without it because it's not gonna work. So that is my biggest anxiety right now. I really wanna be off it completely. Maybe I can just like come off it this year or something. I don't know. Okay, I know you can't see my face, but I'm just gonna do it like this so you guys can see my injection area. Okay, I can do this, I can do this, I've got this. It's been an hour. I've got this, I can do it. I think it's fine. I feel like I've done more shots on this side, so that's probably why it didn't work.
It's done. didn't hurt. So, this in here. I did it. Hopefully I can stretch out my next shot to like four weeks. And then I don't want to do this again but hopefully i can wean it off completely so that is it for today i will i don't know if i'm gonna make this my last video for this youtube clip but thank you guys so much for watching and please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you guys are on deep excellent like me or if you're thinking of starting it please let me know and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. Also, let me know what content you want to see because I've been doing like updates, but I don't know what else to film. So, bye guys.